Well, hello and welcome back to the Physics Playground. We've expanded with the random world generation tiles because there's tons of cool stuff in it. And if I just mark that up for you on screen, because there's many of them in a big line here, you can see that it is a nice bit of crossroads with plenty of zebra crossings. And there are one, two, three, four, five POI placements at the top or at the bottom and three larger ones near the center. We're gonna go down there now and have a good look around just to see what's available. And you got a bit of a double whammy because today, of course, I'm gonna go and have a look at this, which is the All Dead Skate Park, absolutely lovely. There's all the usual business that we find on the roads, loads of things to wrench and get steel, like the lights, newspaper dispensaries that help you get books, and parking, play on words, always with all of these things on Seven Days to Die. But the parking is somewhere we can go and there's an end loot in there as well. A few little lovely things. There's a lovely place to sit down and relax. There's some nice gardens, more newspaper dispensers and plenty of opportunities to get water along with some bus stops. We're gonna start off with the parking today to see what zombies are about and what loot can be found. So this random world generated little tile is known as RWG underscore tile underscore downtown underscore cap. And the parking is one of the two main POIs. There's a little door here that's broken. And if I just nip up here to the very top, then we will see another way to get to the same place. And that's via the kind of back entrance, the way you'd come out into the gardens if you were parking here. There is a lovely vending machine as well, which is very good. And there's a locked ATM. And these are always worth going through the process of unlocking because they often have, look at that, a heck of a lot of cash in them. So let's go down. And here we are at that door. And our first zombie is waking up with the sleeping right here. We're gonna whack him in the head. Somebody else is coming up from downstairs. And I thought, oh, um, hello, Steve. I knew somebody would be in there. Let's see if he wakes up from the other side. A little bit silly. Oh, is he coming out? No, somebody's coming out here. Somebody was hiding in here. Did we get any goodies? No, we don't. But we are certainly gonna pop them around that face a little bit. Ooh, they're a toughie. A very toughie. And somebody else is deciding to give me hell and make me very busy indeed. So this little Steve doesn't seem to want to actually uh, wake up. Let's try and get him. There he is. I'm out of stamina already. There's a lot of beastie zombies in here today. But we'll stay on this floor and we will have a good look around. So this is the first floor. There is a nice rotting little bag here with some goodies in there too. And no parked cars, unfortunately, which would have been nice. And of course, you can get down to the next floor via the little uh, road system that we have. Um, or around the back here. Was there a lift? There is a lift, but we can't obviously use it. We could, I suppose we could break through and see what it's like. But there we have it. The first floor. Excuse me, whilst I sneeze, I've just blanked that out of the video. <laughs> but we're going to go down the stairwell to have a good look round. Is there one? I think somebody was round there. And there's a nice little purse hiding at the bottom here. Yep, a little bit more cash to go with what you get out of the ATM. And here we are. Now we do have, so Daisy, we do have one car over behind us. And we have some more zombies. There we go. So we'll whack these ones. Mm, ow, ow, ow. They're causing me damage today. Um, we'll have a look around here. What have we got? Have we got anything hiding? That's what I want to know. I'm going to just nip in. Yes, there is a bag, a mouldy backpack behind here. So you could, if you've got the parkour, jump over or break on in. There's the ramp down. Uh, so there is the one car. Whoa, and the final loot. Look at this. We've got a few of them waking up here. Nice. We'll remove our summer heads. Lovely jubbly. And there's one Cracker Book sealed shipping crate at the bottom here, which is always nice with a couple of gorgeous books for me today. Here's the entrance to the lift shaft. I wanted to try this. Unfortunately, this is uh, not really accessible, but th there is like a hidden room in here as such, up and above. A couple of little hidden rooms here, um, but kind of interesting. But there we go. So that is the parking. And we're going to nip out of here and uh, then head on over to our next little POI. Of course, as I said earlier, do not forget these free newspaper things. 
uh, but sometimes they can give you a book. But of course, not when I'm recording a video. It's always going to be rubbish, isn't it? Now, these little areas here, this is, of course, where the POIs will be sitting in the random world generation. So it does mean that once you've looted those, um, those little things here, this is still as whole. The whole thing is a POI. If you set your POIs to respawn um, their, their contents after several days, then they will appear back too. But they're separate, including this, separate from a standard POI. So we have a little kind of... Just, can we actually fit through there? We can just about fit through there. Uh, we have a dumpster here, which is nice. Always love a bit of dumpster. And this skateboard ramp. So people have been skating around here. And there's a few bits and bobs, I'm sure, some resources that, that you can get. Whoa! I forgot about the bird. Boing! What? Oh, I've pressed the wrong button. Press the old blue box button. In my panic. There we go. Um, yeah! <laughs> Let me try that again. The bird was up there, actually. The bird is up high. I think we can get up high as well. So this is useful. It's never going to be in the trader as a quest. But this is all possible for a conversion for some kind of base. That lady was over in that corner. She's also woken up to say hello to me. And I'll say hello to her the best I can. You're walking away from me, lady. You walk, you walk, I'm here. Yeah? Oh, well, if you're going to be like that. Hello. She's not very clever. She's not very clever at all. There's a way down. We'll go there in a second. But here we are. Look at this. We can see there that is a cracker book. So we could make this, but mm, I wouldn't like to start messing around with that 10,000 points. Uh, but there's some coal to be got, plenty of resources. And there's two ways down, of course, because there's also this thing here, which is our little exit or entrance to the POI. Depends on which way you want to go. So let's go the official way. This is rather lovely. I like this. Down here, under here, a zombie down there. Nope, not even some loot. And then we keep going. A little bit of cobblestone. Plenty of people waking up in here, it seems. Uh, there's another one. And another one. Whoa, breaking down. Ooh, I'll watch them when they get down. They're right nasty little people. He went down. We've got this little businessman. A nice ladder pile there. Very worth coming down here for that. A few resources again. So it is worth looking around these little tiles and trying to work out what you can get. Is that a little bag there? I forgot to get when I was in there. Uh, word jump and a duffel bag. There we go. Ooh, nice. Good old pipe rifle. Um, let's quickly get through here. So, uh, yeah, nice, nice. few things. This looks like we're kind of getting towards somewhere near the end. Or maybe not. A little bit more water in there. Um, some pipes behind things. And, oh, that is the end. That is the end. So that was it. So, hang on. Did we get our actual... Did we actually get the cracker book? I don't... What? Where is it? There it is. Okay. So that's what these are here for. These are here next to the ammo pile for you to stand up and open, or crack open, I should say. Crack open the cracker book. Again, a nice couple of schematics there as well. But that could be a lovely little conversion or a nice place to have a base with no chance of anyone else on a server actually using it as a quest and ruining it the same goes for here even if you were just to use this top area and build out around here with your own little water source within so imagine if you bought made a big building across the top of this that'd be cool as well so much gorgeous opportunity in them and there are many of these including the sewers which i'm going to do very 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 soon so keep an eye out for that make sure you hit subscribe and like as every single one of these POIs are being reviewed in seven days to die on this channel. So thank you so much for watching. Hit that like and drop us a comment if there's any of these you'd like me to prioritize. Why not? I'll see you later. Goodbye.